Jane MacDonald once traveled far and wide as a Caribbean cruise singer, and was renowned for her musical tours, but after the loss of her husband-to-be, 67-year-old Eddie Rhoda, she completely changed her perspective. Turning her back on the fast-paced touring life, she lamented she is not as young as I should be and is now considering dedicating the future to TV. The 58-year-old, whose seventh TV series of Cruising with Jane McDonald recently aired on TV, has admitted, I'm going to dedicate 2023 more to television because I am getting on a bit, I'm not as young as I should be. I'm going to try and pace myself a little bit more because touring is quite hard. She also confessed to the Mirror that she is looking forward to the prospect of living life on her own terms, after feeling the pressure to watch her weight during her tours. You've got to really concentrate on keeping fit when you're on tour, so it would be nice to think, I'm going to stay up and have another pie. She is joked. I want to be able to eat what I want and have a late night if I want. The star, who rose to fame in her 30s after appearing on the 1998 docu-soap The Cruise, was also left shaken and saddened by the death of fiancé Eddie. Hailing from the music world like her, he was perhaps best known for being the former drummer in Liquid Gold. The pair were planning a long-term future together, only for it to be taken from them when he succumbed to lung cancer last spring. Her relationship with Eddie had been a chance at finding happiness with a partner again after her previous ill-fated marriage with a plumber she had met while touring in the Caribbean. After their televised wedding, former husband Henrik gave up his career to become Jane's manager, which eventually soured the waters between them. Speaking in her autobiography Riding the Waves, My Story, she confessed, Your manager is your boss and tells you what to do, what to wear and who to be, so our relationship changed. I loved him with all my heart, but felt he'd stopped looking at me as a wife. I became a product. I couldn't flourish in a relationship like this. Dot the lines were too blurred. I was a slightly overweight northern woman in her 30s but the stylists wanted me to be classier. Cut your hair, lose weight, stop talking, put your arms away. Then disaster struck as she was dropped by her record label suffered a financial crisis and felt the whole industry had turned their backs on us. Henrik had loved me once but I could see in his eyes that he didn't anymore, she lamented. He wanted to go back to America and live his life and I loved him enough to let him. Love ended in sadness a second time when Eddie died, and now Jane is returning to her roots in Yorkshire. The TV series Jane McDonald, My Yorkshire, which has just made its debut on Channel 5, is an opportunity for the presenter to excel closer to home. I wanted to send a love letter to the viewers of Why I Love Yorkshire So Much, she revealed to the Sunday Mirror. No matter where I am in the world and no matter how beautiful it is, I'm always glad to get back and see this green and pleasant land.